Welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com. That's right. This is where you get to learn QuickBooks for free. Hey guys, we have another question regarding bank reconciliation. Actually, it's really more regarding assigning check numbers uh, once you've already entered it. So, uh, the question says, thank you for this free training. Actually, that's not a question. That's a comment. No, compliment. Compliment comment. Yes, appreciate that. While doing AP, I entered payments and selected them from printing checks but did not assign check numbers or finish by going to the bank side, write checks. I exited AP and when I wanted to print the checks, it appeared that QuickBooks is showing the entries as already paid. Can I delete these entries as I re-entered them? The quick method in banking write checks. Alright, so let's go to QuickBooks and... Uh, see what we could do. All right, so before I show you what I think is the answer, let me go ahead and uh, play the role of what I think you did and then of what you want to see happen. So we went to vendors and I went to enter bills. And I'm going to go ahead and just write out an example. All right. And then I'm going to hit save and close. Then I went to pay bills, all right? So let's just go ahead and choose one of the bills over here as an example. What I'm gonna do below is over here, as you said, it didn't, you did not assign a check number, you did to be printed. And we're gonna go ahead and pay selected bills. over here we're gonna go ahead and hit done all right so now that I went ahead and paid it I went to banking and I went to write checks and I basically pulled up the one that we just went ahead and paid to be print now this is where it gets a little bit tricky because I don't a hundred percent quite understand where it went wrong for you so I'm gonna show you at least one or two things over here okay now if it says over here to print, I know you said it shows paid. Over here doesn't really show paid, but just so you know, at any time you can uncheck this box over here that says to be printed and basically assign it a check number that you want. So that, that one thing right there may just solve the problem. And then you can hit save and close. All right. Now, if you're dealing with a situation like this where it says clear, this is a whole different check, by the way, altogether, but wanted to show you an example of another scenario of what may be happening to you. Once again, I'm not 100% sure. So if it says cleared over here and you didn't assign it a check number, there is no reason to delete it and re-enter it because what happens is anytime you delete a clear transaction, you now just went ahead and messed up the bank reconciliation you did and you will have a discrepancy on the next time where you need to fill that gap. So. Uh, all you have to do is just put in the check number and that's it hit save a new and uh, it's gonna ask you all these questions and you just hit okay 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 and there you go if you go back it's still cleared and you still have the check number over there assigned so I hope this answers your questions if it doesn't let me know what is missing over here and we'll take another look at it like always I'm here to help you guys and uh, hopefully I'm doing it in an entertaining fashion so I will see you guys next time adios and that concludes this lesson uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos